Imagine a stunning, spinning cosmic city filled with bright new stars. Now imagine that city running out of gas. That's a lenticular galaxy. They look like a disk, but they've stopped growing. They are the faded spirals of the universe, filled mostly with old, tired stars. They are beautiful, but quiet. But most galaxies have a dark, sleeping giant at their heart, a supermassive black hole. Most of the time, it's quiet. But sometimes, when gas or stars fall in, it wakes up, turning the galaxy into an active galaxy. The center, called the Active Galactic Nucleus, AGN, shines thousands of times brighter than all the billions of stars combined. It's like a tiny nuclear reactor at the city's center. The most common of these active galaxies are Seyfert galaxies. They are usually spiral galaxies with that brilliant star-like core. The intense light comes from gas spiraling around the black hole, heating up to insane temperatures just before it falls in. If we look straight at the core, we see a Type 1 Seyfert. If a thick, dusty cloud like a giant cosmic donut is blocking our direct view, we see a Type 2 Seyfert. It all depends on our viewing angle. So a galaxy can be quiet and faded like a lenticular, or it can be powerfully active like a Seyfert, powered by a feeding black hole. But what happens when that black hole goes into maximum overdrive? That's next. We travel billions of light years away to see the most luminous things in the universe, quasars and blazars.